So a few days ago, uh, namely Sunday, it's Wednesday now, I went to the Greencastle Toy and Collectible Show in Greencastle, Pennsylvania, with my fellow retro gaming Ghostbusters, and uh, didn't really get any footage. I'm here at the Greencastle Toy and Hobby Show, that's of course um, A. A. Ron Seville's Ecto Vibe, and this is Bill Beachley's um, not as customized vehicle, which is still more customized than mine, but check this out. I'm parked next to Loop on the third. Look, apparently he stole a diamond. And uh, well, I only took these two pictures, but uh, still enjoyable. And I, I got one thing at the show proper. Ghostbusters 2 trading cards, including uh, all 88 cards and 11 stickers. I see those stickers here. I wonder, probably not something I should be flipping through with one hand. Yeah. In Ray's bookstore. Okay. Bill Murray is vain. You get the idea. And then, as we usually do after the show, uh, well, actually, a little before the show ends, because the show technically ends at 1. Well, anyway, we went to Kryptonite Toys, which closes at 1, and you see the problem there. So here's what I got. Um, well, I really planned this reveal well, didn't I? Um, you know, every... You've seen enough of my face. You need to see the product, right? Here it is. The Joyride Ghostbusters Ecto-1 1-21 scale die-cast metal ambulance body. Highly detailed. New item. Well, it was a new item when it came out. Yeah, this um, set me back a little bit, but, uh, well, one of the things, I did want it, and if I didn't get it now. So, um, one, uh, one, I do have one complaint here, and that is that... I checked the entire box, and nowhere did it say what kind of batteries it takes. So let's open this thing here. Um, already know that there are tabs here. Doesn't seem to be any tape holding them in. Or is there? Oh, would you look at that? I turn the camera off so I can use two hands, and I notice it'll do this. Well, one of these should do it. You know, I think I will turn the camera off again because that makes the box easier to open magically. Okay. <laughs> Edit. Oh, I see. I guess that's how you do it, and um, it'll be outside of the box uh, once uh, the jump cut happens. Oh, what luck. This is exactly where I wanted to be. Now, uh, oh no, screws. Where am I supposed to find a screwdriver in this house? And there are the roof accessories and Slimer. Um, looks like I might have to break a blister pack after all. And uh, some nice detail on the bottom there. I'm going to assume this is all accurate. I remove this tape here, and this tape here, and, and the other tape in other locations. And yeah, again, uh, wait, maybe I can. Hmm. Nah, I don't want to risk damaging it. And I decided to put the screws in here. I can probably I put this in the air, and then I put the car on top that'll hold in nicely. And, I think maybe both of them are real. That's a good, nice way of hiding the antenna by making an antenna. So, well, I've heard that the trunk opens. And I say trunk, I meant hood. Yeah, um, I don't know that much about cars. Detailed engine, well, okay. So, um, let's uh, check this stuff out. Hey, yeah, um, would open, the hinges would, it would open here because remember Ray's got, his, Ray's butt is hanging out when Dana comes in and, I don't really like these bubbles here. I don't know what you're gonna do here. Oh, there we go. I just didn't pull hard enough. There we go. Yeah. It does look pretty detailed. Okay, let's just leave the light on here for a moment. Get to the, oh, let's see, passenger side, I guess. What you see in there? Yeah. The radio got, um, 
Okay. I guess driver's side next. Is it automatic? Um in there now. Nice detail. This is a I don't know if it turns, it's apparently removable. Probably not deliberately. Okay, I, I hope I didn't snap it off. Clearly it doesn't turn. Um, oh boy, hopefully there's a hole that I can stick this in. Yeah, I'll try this um, when I've got more light. And uh, oh, incidentally, while trying to fix that, um, some other stuff broke off, so. Also, I think this isn't radio controlled, which, uh, well, in that case, the $80 price tag seems a little high. And, uh, well, gee, look at the name. RCertle.com. RC2. Yeah, you know, maybe um, if, if you're making a product that's not radio controlled, don't use those two letters. It said rear doors, but I bet... Um, Oh yeah, can you see that's that's definitely that's that is definitely molded. And this this uh, more more sticky. Huh? Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna make something that's yeah, this heavy. Maybe also don't make it this brittle. This at least. Stick inside here. If we can. Huh. Let's see the. Uh, Oh boy. Oh, okay, that's pretty neat. Yeah, there's a Okay, that's that's nice. Um This should really open wide enough that you can actually yeah. It's just flat, right? Of course it'll be flat. Yeah. Just stickers there. No molding. Of course no gurney with proton packs, which wouldn't slide out anyway. Oh, and this thing, I guess, is no paint on it. Yeah. Got the jump seats, that's good. More consoles, huh? Yeah, well, time to put the roof rack on. Uh. Oh, I don't know if you can see this, but Slimer has holes for his arms to stick out of. What, for the one arm? Some internal handles in the door too. I guess over here there'd be two, right? Or I guess look at the other side, the door on the other side. Yep. Oh wow. Window. Uh, same here. Yep. Okay, so it actually has instructions. Okay. So there it is. Um, I guess a sniffer can. Wait. Oh. Okay. Yes. Wait. Is it rotating or did I just break it? I just broke it. Okay. So I I don't know what the MSRP is. I think 80 bucks is a bit much. Um, kind of my own fault for not making sure it's uh, not remote controlled. I'm just assuming from the company's name. But eh. it's a bit disappointing. And I'm going to get have to get out the cyanoacrylate here to do some repairs. I um, guess I can fit it in the trunk here. How do I open this again? And Slimer, I don't, yeah, I don't think it's designed, well, don't know if this is designed this way or not, but you can fit them here, so. <sighs> some nice detail, but also some f major flaws, I mean. I wonder if this is just the way it was stored. Definite disappointment. Also, putting it back in the box here, um, the roof rack is scraping on the top, but, uh, Oh, and it, yeah, of course, this thing is the highest, the one that was the hardest to get in and, and that I'll probably risk breaking if I try to take it out. And, well, I don't know. I don't know if the sniffer would... Uh, okay, I'm going to take the bottom off so I can uh, hopefully fit the um, steering wheel. Uh, 
back on and uh, as I did it this part broke off so um and another thing I just noticed here yeah gigantic rivets I'm also wondering here these uh tailpipes just kind of stop here they kind of look like they might be broken off so I'm not sure what it looks like underneath I looked in here and uh no undershots I'm afraid but one thing I did notice there's the gas cap and here um not only no detail, but um, no, they don't even bother to paint it. I just noticed the wheels do turn. It's just the steering wheel doesn't turn them or you know, turn itself. Oh, but it looks like I'm going to have to... Yeah, well, that, that's... Okay, the screw's still in there, but it's unscrewed. Um, I have to, I think, break some parts. <sighs> Should not have spent that money. Huh. So it is supposed to turn, but I guess um, not by turning the wheel. So when I, if I manage to glue that back in, I'm going to have to be careful. Another little detail. Um, okay, there we go. The seat backs move a little bit. Yeah. I better be careful. I'll probably break them. There's supposed to be a window between the front and rear? I have no idea. Oh, dome lights, okay, that's kind of... Wait, is that dome lights or is that just... Um, I think that's just mold. Okay, I'm going to try to get the camera in there, um, but just in case, this is what I'm going to um, use to get the steering wheel inside the... Yeah, and if I can get it to fit, then a slight drop just enough to hold it in place, but not enough to leak on the edges and keep it from turning when I turn the wheels. Not, not the, not, I'm not going to try the next thing anymore. Yeah. Huh. Here's where it fits. Yep, these doors would open decently. This interior detail. We'll give them that. Oh, oh, wow. Can you see that? The two-way radio, actually, you see the cord there. Okay, kind of give them props for that. Yeah, I put this um, spool here so I'd have a little, yeah, something to balance this on, but it's, yeah, yeah, this is not working. You know what? I just glued it in place. I, if I, um, I'm moving the wheels here. Yep. Okay, got to get it up a bit, but I no longer care if it turns. Kind of given up on fixing this. Okay, well, I've, uh, glued the stuff back on. I've actually used the contact cement here. Uh, you see, I maybe didn't do the best job, but at least it... Oh, but I gotta fix that. The wheel... Yeah, I just pulled it out a bit. It's not actually connected to the wheel, wheels themselves because, um, yeah, <laughs> had enough problem with that, and, uh, still gotta fix this. Uh, string of expletives. Well, that's not exactly the um, best fit there. Um, maybe I should clamp it. Okay. Um, yeah, not the best job, but I think that's as good as I'm going to get. Um, yeah, in this case, the um, contact cement didn't work, so I used the uh, cyanoacrylate here. Um, other brands of cyanoacrylate are available. I guess I'll let it dry. Try not to look at it directly. So, final verdict. Well, much as I would like to point out the... It's not even promptly displayed, is it? Yeah. That putting RC in the name of your company does imply your products are radio controlled. And the onus is still on me. I mean, you know, it does have a URL here. At the, at the very least, I could have looked it up on my smartphone. Oh. Smartphone. There we go. Uh, that's, but um, so as for the product, well, there's some nice detail, particularly interior, but uh, there's some other problems. And uh, 
the brittleness. Come on, I wasn't, I, you know, I, I might not be the gentlest person, but that, a lot of that stuff broke off a little too easily. So, um, I wouldn't recommend it uh, unless you're a completist. And uh, I put it back in the box, and as you can see, uh, that stuff broke off again. I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking of maybe modifying the package a little bit so these can stay on, or at least maybe putting a needle in here or a paper clip or something. Um, yeah, I am not taking it out of the box unless maybe someone who I trust to be gentle and to whom I can't say no, not you, Fred, sorry, really wants me to take it out so they can have a close look at it. I don't know who that would be, you know, maybe an enthusiastic child who somehow would still trust to be gentle enough when even the box can't be gentle enough, or a girlfriend. Okay, the child is a more likely scenario, but, you know, ever optimistic, right? So. Okay, final, final, probably. Okay, um, through a combination of um, needles and um, reaching in through the back here, I've gotten these, I fixed the, uh, that wrong finger, don't point that finger, fixed these, kind of, um, Should I open the back door a little more?